So if you tuned in yesterday, then you already know I messed up No Coptober, accidentally made the StockX mistake <laughs> of leaving an open bid, which is leading to this unboxing. Talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Chains, aka TJ who forgot that she had a bid out during No October and that executed on StockX. So, thank you and welcome to this unboxing that was unplanned. And I have no idea if you guessed correctly, but you know that I got back to you guys in the comment section just to mess with you and not really tip you off, but. It is a Vans sneaker. So that's actually the sneaker that ruined No Coptober for me. But before we actually get started, Two Shoes Crew, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you again for helping me to reach 5K. And we're still growing. And a lot of you are like, hey, 10K is that next milestone. Hey, let's get it. I'm, I'm going to continue to grind to provide you guys daily valuable content. I never planned on daily. So I'm just saying. I don't know how y'all wrote me into this. But I love getting up here and making videos for you guys, and I love the interaction that you provide. So if you're subscribed, awesome. If you're not, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you dare to go ahead and want to sit here and watch me on a consistent basis. You don't have to hit the like button. I mean, it is truly up to you. Uh, if you're that moved, just go ahead and hit the like button. And if not, hey, no love lost. So let's just dive into this sneaker. This doesn't need to be long. All right, here's the box, okay? Nice blue man's box. It is an old school style. So this is the old school cap LX. It is the marshmallow and it is in a size six, guys. So just so we know, and I'm not going to, of course, show my you know information there, but we got the stock X card right there and these do look amazing in person or right, well, stock X sticker there we go I have, I have plenty of those now at this point all right so here is I need to move this stuff over so here it is it is the marshmallow deconstructed old school van now you guys know and I've stated this before I'm a fan of the deconstructed look. Half of my jeans are distressed, which you could also call deconstructed. And that's why I've had to, you know, be an adult and get jeans that aren't necessarily based on the occasion. I think it's not okay if I can't wear my distressed jeans, but whatever, society, I will play by your rules from time to time. But this is the deconstructed marshmallow. So if you think that Off-White and Virgil Abloh are the only ones that kind of do a deconstructed look on a shoe, well, you're wrong. And we kind of saw that with the whole, um, what was it the sketch Air Max one that came out which I thought that was awesome I just it wasn't a shoe that I ended up picking up but I do have my stock X tag on there now this has very similar elements that you would think to off-white and it also has elements of other things that I like so this double tongue the first tongue that is under here it is thick like guys look it's like a pillow for your feet it's a thick tongue right there it does remind me of kind of the sakai waffles the way that they do have that double tongue feature that's something i really really love about that sneaker i haven't been able to pick that up whatsoever i've tried for myself and i've tried for friends haven't been able to pick that up but this has the double tongue under here so it would be like the padding that you get in old school maybe versus the just air era or authentic then the top one here is just a flap and it's got more uh, it has that suede on the top this is more of a nice pillow i am definitely gonna have to crap spray these though because i feel like these could get a little bit dirty so they come with just white laces there are no extra laces and then it does have vans on the inside there you see the exposed foam on top now this is what i really like about a lot of the off-white shoes. Now I have the Air Max um, 90 Desert Ore off-white and I absolutely love that shoe. I finally undead socked it. If you guys follow me on IG, which it's talks.with.tj, so hopefully you caught on to the change, but talks.with.tj and you can see that I did post rocking those kind of on a casual Friday to uh, go to the office and run some errands. So you have the exposed foam 
On the back, it says, please tear here. So it has the Vans off the wall logo. And then it also has off the wall here, but, or it is upside down though. So it has that blue stripe that goes all the way around. We do have some tabs here and then you have the little Vans there. Sorry, the light is super exposed. They even have little extra foam right there. So it's a lot of different details and touches on this shoe and we have the classic waffle. Now, I love that this waffle isn't like a consistent one color. It's a gradient, which I think is dope. It does match my hat, but y'all probably don't care about that. <laughs> but I'm very excited to have this shoe. So this shoe originally came out, I believe in February is when this came out. And oh, I didn't even notice that. So if you look on the medial side of the shoe, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that. It's actually got the checker pattern on the medial side. So that is awesome. I So there's so, the shoe has a lot of different elements, whether it's the exposed foam on the, the medial side here, and then it also has the exposed foam there on the lateral side. You have the little touches of the different loops here. And it's a mixture of, honestly, mesh, suede, not gonna really say any leather on here. Mesh suede, just some canvas. You have the exposed foam. You have the laces. Now, I think the insole does, I think the insole is actually leather, like near that back part. I think that is leather. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is the sneaker that ruined my no cop-tober. I'm not that mad about it. I think this is an awesome sneaker to be able to wear if I don't want to wear something that is just all white, has a little bit of variation in it in terms of color, but has a lot of variation, a lot of character in terms of the way it looks. I don't think I could ask for a better shoe. Now you go, oh no, correction, sorry. Listen, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. There's leather on the panel here for the, uh, the uh, laces, the eyelets. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So they do have leather on this shoe. It's like five different materials on this shoe. So I think it retailed for $100. I spent 80. That was the bid I put in. It was originally, I think at like 150 is what the seller was asking. And I'm like, I don't wanna pay that. I had it in my car on eBay. I was like, I don't wanna pay that price at 150, 160 either. But what do you know? I'm just gonna say maybe it was just, I needed some really good karma that day in this month of October and I got it. So. I have an amazing sneaker. I can't wait to wear this all fall, guys. All, all fall, fall, spring. I don't care. That's the thing about Vans. I'm gonna wear this all the time. This is my sixth Van that I picked up this year. I could possibly have a problem. <laughs> the soulmates, I'm blaming Marcus because he kept encouraging me. So Marcus and Kiana, I blame you all because I remember I saw their pictures when they were in Paris for their vacation and she had on dope kicks and he had on dope kicks the entire time and they were posting pics and I'm like, oh, the marshmallow deconstructed old school and I got my wish, I got my sneaker. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this. You can let me know if you are a fan of Vans or are you a fan of these. If you're not a fan of Vans but you kinda like the more deconstructed look, what do you think about the way they executed this sneaker? Cause I think they did an amazing job. And you guys know I will do the due diligence of the on foot of everything. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Please forgive your girl because she kind of failed her own challenge. But as Dede said, you know, players F up too. It happens. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace out.